Hello and welcome to basic Archicad design tools tutorials. Today we are going to do lesson 3 of Archicad design tools and we are going to cover doors and openings. So we are going to cover doors, openings and windows and we are going to customize all our doors for different spaces and areas. So we have kitchen, store, entry porch, lounge bedroom one and bedroom two then we also have uh, the shower area so we are going to do our doors in faces so that uh, we can have customized doors for each and every area so to get started we can start from the entry porch where we are going to to do the first door here so each door then there's uh, door number 23 but uh, for for the for the entrance i kind of like uh, this door with the side light so but before we get there there are, there are different kind of doors there are empty openings where there are, there is no door there are garage doors there are inched doors there are rotating doors, there are sliding doors, folding, etc, etc. So in our case, this one, the door number 23 is default. So you'll always get there when you get to the inch door. So for this case, we choose a um, door with a side light, um, door, uh, this door. Then we go to settings. First, before we go to settings and choose grid, we can do some preview and positioning. So this is the width and this is the height and for me I feel that is okay. So now let's customize the door to, to our preferences. So this door, I kinda, I'm going to use the prior style. Then ando, I'm going to choose ando 4 because that's my favorite ando. And I feel it's just okay for this case. So I'm gonna eat next so that we can continue to customize it to fit our. So we had chosen that one, door leaf, blah, blah, blah. Let's continue. Though you can still adjust these ones, you can still adjust the panels and stuff. You can continue and, uh, and adjust several things. So let's go to Ando. That's, that's where Ando and uh, Ando position is at that, at that height. However, you can, um, you, can, you can change. You can change. You can change the height and position of the, the height and position. For my case, uh, I feel... 1000 is okay, then kick outside and kick in kickboard. Uh, uh -huh. I think I think I can I can I can say inside I can just click on the both then uh, other settings this one we had chosen uh, the search type uh, okay let's choose uh, okay let's just do with that one and then um, then on the opening angle and the other things uh, first let's position the door then we can come and uh, do the we can customize this after we have seen how the door looks like so boom our door is there and it opens to the inside that way. So let's let's have a let's see it. There we have our door, and as you can see, the door is uh, the door is open. The door is closed. I mean, the door is closed, and the door is uh, in the in the in the two D view. It's it's ninety degrees. It's it's uh it's not flipped. It's not. It's just in ninety degrees, and uh, yeah, on the three D view, it's uh, it looks like that when it's closed. So 
with all that said and done, we can we can eat the dough. The the, the good thing with Akikad, you can uh, customize your 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 doors. You can customize and edit anything in three D, in three D view or either in the floor plan two D view. So in this case, we are going to edit it here, and so we have highlighted it. So we we go to settings. So let's let's uh, let's have a search here. Let's choose this grid, then uh, position, blah blah blah, thickness. Yes, let's say okay. So horizontally, vertically, I think they are okay, but we can we can we can change them later. So the number. We can change the angle, the angle, the angle in 3D view to open the door a little bit. Boom, it's open. Have a look. So again, let's uncheck the opening line. Let's uncheck the opening line. Let's uncheck. Let's uncheck opening line. You see, we have unchecked the opening line. This is the opening line. Uncheck in 3D view. Boom, it's not there, okay? Yes, hope you're following. So let's go ahead and do some other doors like this. Let's do another one here. Let's do, let's do the same door. Same door here. Same door here. Okay, before that, let's let's uncheck that. Very quickly. Very quickly that door there. Okay. So as you can see, we have put the same same door from the entry porch to the lounge. So now let's let's choose a door for for the kitchen, for the kitchen area, and uh, a door for the bedrooms. So for the kitchen and to this passageway, we are going to do an empty opening. So very quickly, empty opening, empty opening. Let's do this one. Then preview and positioning. The sea light is from zero. This one it's 900. So let's do a 900 width seal, uh, open, uh, empty door for the passage towards the bedrooms and adjust the width towards the kitchen. So very quickly. There, then adjust the width to the kitchen. You can adjust it right away here. There, no, let's do it off at 1400. I want when um, someone is in the kitchen, uh, a food it's been served, uh, someone in the dining is already salivating, so it's wide enough. It's wide enough. So now let's do some other inched doors for, let's do some other inched door, uh, door opening to, to the bedroom. Door number 23, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? It's here. So preview and positioning, how does it open? It opens this way. So it is okay that way. So let's choose a grid. So let's do door number 50 something. Let's do this. Uh, no, let's do, let's do door number, let's do number 50 something. Let's do 55 for, two, for the two bedrooms, okay. Yes, for the two bedrooms and offer. 
Let's check the other settings, whether they are okay. Where the angle starts from. The angle, let's open the doors. Let's, let's have them open. We can even give them a small angle like 25. Let's uncheck this line. Uncheck. Okay. So here. How does the door open? That way. Then a door in the store. That way. Then a door from the kitchen. Ensure the black line is on the in, on the inside. So now a door in the bathroom. I'm going to adjust the seal height to two thousand two hundred two hundred and click enter. I'll tell you why. It's because of the that area. It's wet area. So, so we can go to 3D and view, we can, we can move in and out, we can move in through here, oh, this door is still closed, so let's, let's do something on it, let's, let's edit it, and give it a sash, okay? Thirty degrees. Give it this grade. Okay. <laughs> Let's move in. Let's move in. You can see the doors in the in this area they are open what have I done let's uh, let's continue the journey continue Okay. So let's do the windows. Let's do the windows. So the choice of windows very fast. So we are going to choose some good windows uh, that. Uh, so let's see. Let's start in the wet wet side, the wet area. The wet area, the wet area. Let's choose this one. So let's do some adjustment on the height of the window. That this height is quite okay. It's quite cool. This is in the shower area. Okay. So you notice that it starts from fourteen hundred. The height it starts from fourteen hundred. The seal height from home story. So this is because of privacy, and that is quite cool. So let's do some some other settings. Let's do some other settings. Do it, does it have? Does it have to? It doesn't have to have a Sasha, but anyway, we can choose that. It doesn't make any difference. Then we can have check an angle, check a window angle, then choose one. So which one is the best? Let's 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 have this style four. <laughs> I don't know why I love four. Then um, then we can continue. Let's uncheck this line. Uh, uncheck opening line. We have unchecked. Uh, then here you choose material for. For the window so when you choose just one material the material becomes uniform to to all the other to all the other uh, to 
all the other stuff but let's first let's first continue doing with this but uh, you can choose according to your preferences as you have seen also our doors have the same issue they also have the same wood and stuff yeah so it looks like that so very quickly let's do windows for the for for the entry porch so uh, special windows no sliding sliding no historic let's do historic let's choose this one go to preview and positioning let's adjust the seal so adjust the seal to let's do a 600 from the home story when i say from the home story it's from the ground so that way we are good to go uh, some settings some settings some settings some settings some settings uh the grid can we choose a grid let's do this one uh, let's say uniform uniform let's continue let's check this one to select an under um, let's let's do something else let's un uncheck the line uncheck the opening line if you've seen it the material here is the material once you choose just one material over here uniform window surfaces so you can click this one then adjust one material to have all of them uh, all of them adjusting accordingly so entry porch zoom entry porch the dark line to from the inside boom so 3d view Ready view. Let's see. Let's hobbit, hobbit. That's how it looks like. It looks like that. It looks like that. And I think it's cool. Then this one. Uh, this one looks like that, but I don't like the way it is. I don't like this one. So let's let's edit it to be let's edit it to be to have to have uh, to have a no grid like that i love the way it is like that i love it when it's like that because of its small size huh? because of its small size so before before that so let's let's uncheck that and then we can pan around we can do some boom so let's do windows for the other rooms for the kitchen and the bedrooms and the stall so so let's go to basic window to these basic windows um, uh -huh. which window which window uh, double sash window double sash double sash triple let's check how this triple looks like so like preview and positioning let's let it start from 750 yeah 750 a little bit higher than the other one so let's do some some customization let's customize let's customize let's custom let let us customize so grid the, this grid then uh, to have a uniform uniform sashes of boom then uh, let's check this to select handle yeah then uh, this one actually these ones we can even open them a little bit because this is opening in 3d so let's let's leave let's leave the 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 main the main such said one this one is is in the middle so let's open these ones 
I just want to make this spicy, to spice it up. To it's open by twenty twenty five. Sorry, twenty five. And also this one by twenty five. Okay, let's continue. Let's uncheck this line check that line then left. and on material you can choose a uniform window surfaces by clicking there here then you, if you change this one you will have changed all of the materials so but for now let's work with that so let's do the windows so boom boom to open that way and another one here to open that way and another one here you notice I'm just I'm just not placing the windows anyhow I'm placing them somewhere boom then uh, the kitchen one uh, then do we have the one for the store all of the home? Let's do one for the kitchen here. So let's do something else. I want us to adjust the size of the the size of the the sea light of the kitchen kitchen. So sorry. So let's adjust the height to twelve hundred. Twelve hundred. Then also adjust the seal to nine hundred. Then hit enter. So let's view. Let's view these windows. How they look like. You see, they're open. <laughs> and I don't like how they are opened, man. I don't like them. I don't like how they have opened. So because I don't like the way they are opened, I want us to close all the windows, to close them. So to close, all down, shift, select. Hold down shift, select. Let's have them closed. Let's have them closed. So let's close. Let's remove that angle. Let's let's do with zero. Let's do with zero. Let's three D view. There's something missing. There's something missing, but uh, something is not working somewhere. So if already you're liking this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more lessons on Archicad. On Archicad, I'm currently using Archicad 23, the latest version of Archicad. 
so if you like this video please give it a thumbs up in lesson four we are going to cover how to do some roof extras how you're going to spice up this roof and give it some touch how you're going to give it some some kind of good look uh, because when it, it looks like this it's kind of basic so we are going to to improve it and uh, make it quite quite good so for these windows i'm, go I'm also going to correct them and uh, we are going to do something else uh, later on in the, in the in the that lesson so in that lesson i'm going to apply i'm going to do some roof extras so with all that said and done please subscribe and share this video also you to your to your members let's let's let, let uh, comment and uh, let's know how you're holding up so as i've said uh, i've done different different openings and i've, I've also done um, due to the nature of our our small building we have uh, constructed uh, we have done all the windows on the back side and the, on this side so you'll notice that these sides they don't have uh, windows and there's a reason because uh, behind that one i want this area to either have uh, to occupy the cabinets to occupy the kitchen cabinets and this side i don't feel it's necessary this one window it's okay so thank you very much uh please, please subscribe and wait on for the lesson four thank you